Hello, everyone. By everyone, I mean all nine of you watching this video for the first time. My name is Adam Rose. I'm the Vice President and Senior Loan Officer of Western Ohio Mortgage, located here in Sydney, Ohio. This is the first episode or first installment of the Mortgage Guy podcast or video podcast, and it's the one where you get to know us. So this first episode, I really just wanted to get an opportunity to give you a little background about myself so you can get to know me a little bit better. We're going to talk a little bit about why this podcast is happening, which is interesting. And we're going to talk about some of the things we have planned for the future, right? So as you can see, my chair to my right is empty. So that gives you an indication that I do plan on having a lot of guests on. And we're going to bring you a lot of great information about the mortgage uh, industry as a whole, the process, education, all of the above. So first, I wanted to talk a little bit about myself. I, uh, a lot of people that are watching this for the first time already know me. They've met me, most likely, unless they share this with their friends. They have no idea who I am. Um, I'm actually, I was born here in Sydney. I grew up uh, all my life around Quincy, which is about 15 miles east of here, which, if, again, if you're local, you know where that's at. I uh, continue to live there to this day. I have a DeGraff address, actually. But uh, I spent all my childhood around Quincy DeGraff area. I went to Riverside schools, um, had a lot of great friends there. You know, my summers were pretty much made up of just sports, right? Basketball, baseball, football, whatever kind of mess or trouble we could get ourselves into. But uh, after high school, I did graduate with honors and uh, went on to Wittenberg University, and played a little bit of baseball there and graduated with a degree in finance and economics from that uh, from that university in 2008, and uh, I actually met my current my current wife. Jesus, sorry, babe. I met my wife <laughs> in high school, and uh, we are still married to this day. Even though this video is going to be coming out here in a couple of days, and she's going to see it, um, and she gets to look at this extra 15 pounds the camera adds. So I'm super excited about that. I'm sorry you have to look at this all the time, babe. Um, but, uh, so we met back in 2005 is when we started dating. So we've been together. It'll be 18 years in May. Actually, we have three children and, um, we have, uh, my oldest name is Damien. He's nine. Uh, Delia is seven. She's my middle child and spoiled to death. And my youngest is Drew. He's five and thinks he's a cat. So that's a little story into our life here. So, uh, that's just a little bit about my background. And, you know, after I graduated college, um, you know, we got married, settled down. We actually bought our first home together in Ball Fountain. So I've been a Logan County resident the majority of my life. And until 2013, when we actually moved to our current residence in Champaign County, which is a couple hundred yards from the Logan County line uh, out south of DeGraff. Um, but uh, once I graduated college, uh, it was 2008. So we were... People that are in the industry now were then in 08. You kind of know what was going on at that time. So I didn't enter the industry at that point. It wasn't exactly great timing. So I actually got my insurance license, um, Series 63, uh, accident health license, and became a branch manager at Western Southern Financial Group based in Bell Fountain for four years until my family recruited me to come back over here and get joined the family business in 2012. So that's just a little bit about myself and, uh, and what, what I'm all about here. Now we're going to take a quick break and hear, get a word from our sponsors. As you can tell, we need, to, we need a little bit of help. But um, I wanted to kind of go into why we're doing this and how this all started. You know, this, this podcast thing was something I always thought about or thought about in the past, you know, and I just, it's just one of those things I wanted to start doing, start doing video marketing, but there's this, you know, self-conscious issue, uh, worried about what people think, you know, what do I look like on camera? Uh, what am I going to say? Am I going to stumble over my words? And uh, so it's something I always thought about, always wanted to do, just never, just put it on the back burner. I right? just never did it. You know, that procrastination thing, which I think we're all guilty of. And, the reason I'm here now is my amazing staff, hashtag sarcasm, uh, basically bought me some of this stuff for Christmas. It kind of forced me into it. I think it was a job security thing, to be honest with you. I think they, uh, they saw the writings on the wall, and they're like, you know what? We better make a move here. 
uh, keep them busy doing something else so we can keep our jobs here. I think that's really why why they were doing it. And uh, just for payback, I'm, I'm going to have them on here for sure. So they're probably going to watch this. They may edit this part out. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, I, I'll probably find out the same way you will when you're watching this video. They're probably going to lock me out of the room, edit it, and, and kind of uh, not tell anybody what's going on and, until it goes live. Um, so we are going to have this. You'll, you'll see it, obviously, but you'll have it on uh, YouTube and a couple other channels, some TikToks and things like that going on. Uh, but getting back to where I was. So that's the origin of the podcast. Always wanted to do it, but I kind of got forced into it, really. They kind of forced my hand. It's been quite the uh, quite the event getting this up and running, actually, with all this equipment, um, making sure the sound's working, the video's working. So uh, thank you to Justin Hughes on that. Uh, costs a little bit more money through trial and error than I prefer, but uh, here we are. We're up and running. So um, let's talk about what we're going to be doing on this show. So again, I have an empty chair to my right. We're going to have these great cups for a little bit of marketing while we're at it. Comes with free coffee. Jack Daniels is extra if you wish to, to have a spite or make it Irish. Um, but we're going to talk everything mortgage. We're going to talk about everything community. We're going to talk about anything that's relevant, really. Um, I don't want this to be something that it's only mortgage. It's so boring. Don't care. So we're going to we're going to educate the consumer, right? So I, I always wanted to do this consumer direct thing. You know, you, you try seminars. You try educating borrowers. You know, people don't show up. They're nervous. They're worried that if they show up, they don't know anything about anything. You, there's just that, that social fear. So I thought this would be a great way to do a series of videos weekly, of course, if I'm not doing this every day. All right. Now, my assistant thinks this is going to take off and I'm going to be the next Matt Lauer, minus the sexual harassment issues, of course. But they think I'm going to make it. Right. We'll see. I don't think uh, Good Morning America is going to be knocking anytime soon. So, uh, uh, you know, we're going to do this consumer direct. I'm going to take an opportunity to talk about product every week. We're going to bring on uh, professionals, right? Uh, we're going to talk about the loan process, things to not do, things that you need to prepare for, what it looks like, right? We're going to bring on, and when I say professionals, we're going to bring in, well, next we're going to bring the owner in, Teresa Rose, um, and she's going to give us a little background on the company. I think the week after that, we're actually going to have a title company on here. So Matt Anderson from Republic Title is going to be coming on board here in the next couple of weeks uh, to talk about his business. But that's what we're going to do, right? Bringing in title agencies, what to look for, why we, what's owner's title insurance, you know, what's, what's happening in the real estate world. We're going to be bringing local uh, brokers and real estate agents. We're going to bring in uh, investment advisors. We're going to bring appraisers on. So we're going to try to talk a lot mortgage, mortgage lending industry, the do's, the don'ts, and just educate people. That's that's the plan, okay? Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to only be that. I want it to be an opportunity to highlight people in our community, local business owners, right? Something that's going on, an event here um, that we want to talk about and highlight. So I want to make sure that, that people in the Miami Valley have a voice on this show as well, and hopefully we can grow from there right? Uh, get everybody an opportunity and make sure that uh, people are aware of, of, of the events that are going on and, and great people uh, in our area that do great things, whether it's charity work or uh, great product offerings, whatever it may be. So that's the plan uh, for this, this podcast. So as we get into this podcast over the next couple of weeks, I, uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the information. You get something out of it, but it's also entertaining. You know, I'm sure we're going to have some funny moments. We may actually come up with a blooper reel because, um, you know, one of the people I really researched and kind of looked up to um, as it, not a mentor, but just, just someone that's done this, uh, Gary Vanderchuk. I don't know if, if you guys have ever seen him before, but he's self-made, um, started with the winelibrary.com. And, you know, he started doing video blogs before they were popular before anybody knew what the hell is a blog or a video blog because the internet was just now coming out for consumers, right? It was just now getting popular. YouTube was just now getting out there in regards to uploading videos. And that's how he built his business. And, you know, I was reading some of his books and he just talks about 
be yourself. That's it. That's what people want to see. That's what people want to hear. And I hope I can do that because I'll be honest with you. I'm not a professional sitting in front of a camera right now is not comfortable at all. Especially when I have no one to talk to. I'm talking to no one right now. So this is very hard for me. Um, so hopefully myself, my personality can come out a little bit over these next couple of weeks. So I hope you all bear with me. Um, when these do come out, I hope you can share it with your friends, share it online, um, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That'll be out. And I'm sure with some of these bloopers, we're going to have some TikToks come out as well. So if you want to check that out too, uh, on the uh, YouTube channel on this, uh, every week we will make sure our handles are on there. So click, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks again, guys, and we will see you next week.